the most overpriced designer bags. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury, and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video about the most overpriced designer bags. Designer bags keep getting more and more expensive and we have to agree some of them are extremely overpriced. Some of the bags on this list are my favorites, but they are so expensive nowadays it doesn't make any sense. Here, I'll show you the 8 most overpriced bags. Tell me in the comments which bag you think is the most overpriced. So, without further ado, here are the most overpriced designer bags. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and check out my new website, luxfy.com. Number 8. Fendi Peekaboo Bag Designed by Silvia Venturini Fendi, this bag was first presented at Fendi's Spring 2009 show. This is the only bag a woman would be recommended to wear unfastened and unlocked. The peekaboo has been designed with several compartments and a double closure so that it can be worn half open or half closed. When it is only half closed, the bag hints at a color, texture or leather creating a surprising contrast, hence its name. It comes in exotic leathers, fur and calfskin, and also comes in multiple colors, patterns, and sizes. The Peekaboo is a classic and elegant bag of the brand, but Fendi has increased its price so much I believe it is overpriced. The Peekaboo ICU medium bag is sold for $5,800. Number 7. The Row Margot Bag every detail of the rose Margot's tote is carefully considered. Crafted in Italy from leather or suede, it has a structured silhouette supported by gold tone buckles along the sides and protective feet at the base. The interior is fitted with three pockets and offers enough room for a change of clothes, beauty essentials, and your laptop, everything you need for an overnight trip or long-haul flight. This is a timeless, elegant tote bag that is extremely popular now. The Margot 15 bag is sold for $4,390, which I believe is very expensive for a new brand. But people say it is very high quality, so who knows, maybe it is worth it. Number 6. Chanel 22 bag. Designed by Virginie Viard, the Chanel 22 was presented at the Spring Summer 22 collection. Like its predecessor, the Chanel 19, created in 2019, its name refers to the year of its creation. Functional and light, made of an extremely supple yet resistant leather, this bag comes in four sizes and an array of colors. Designed to be an easy, fuss-free, everyday bag, the Chanel 22 is more casual than the usual Chanel bag. Its interior, sophisticated and practical, closes with a magnetic button and purse-like drawstrings. It features an inside zipped pocket and a removable pouch held in place by a snap hook. The Chanel 22 is priced at $5,500, but it sells on the resale market for 115% of the original price, so it is expensive but might be considered an investment. Number 5. Prada Galleria Bag Few things are more classic than the Prada Galleria Bag. Rooted in tradition, the Galleria is more than just a bag, it's an icon. Though the bag was originally introduced in 2007, the history of the bag dates back to Prada's humble beginnings. The bag gets its name from the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, which is where Mario Prada opened his first store in Milan in 1913. Reminiscent of the frame shapes and medicine-style bags popular in the mid-century, the Galleria bag references classic styles of the past while remaining current. This is the most classic bag of the brand, and I do love this bag, but my problem with it is that I believe it is overpriced, and it doesn't hold to its value at all on the resale market. The Saint Laurent Sac de Jour has a very similar style, but it's sold for half the price. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so we can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living.
Number 4. Hermes Birkin Bag Yes, I'm saying that the most famous and popular bag in the world is overpriced. The Birkin was designed in 1983 when Hermes creative director Jean-Louis Dumas sat next to the actress Jane Birkin on a flight. She was wearing a straw tote and explained that most leather bags were too structured for her taste. So Dumas designed the bag on that flight on the back of a napkin. Today the Birkin is an icon and is the kind of bag that will last you your whole life. I love the Birkin bag, but I had to put it on this list because of the $10,000 price tag. But it does retain its value on the resale market throughout the years, so you can say it is worth it. Number 3. Lady Dior A bag that was designed almost 30 years ago in honor of one of the biggest style icons in fashion history, the Lady Dior is a classic. In 1995, Bernadette Chirac, then First Lady of France, requested Dior to custom design a bag for Lady Diana. The bag was gifted to the princess. While she was on an official visit to Paris, it instantly became one of her favorite bags. After that, Lady Diana was spotted multiple times carrying the bag, so Dior decided to change its name to the Lady Dior in 1996, with the princess's blessing. Described as iconic and legendary, the brand launched the bag in a larger series, becoming a favorite of Dior clients. This is one of my favorite designer bags of all time, and it breaks my heart to say it is overpriced. It sells for $6,000, and it doesn't hold its value well on the secondary market. Number 2. Louis Vuitton Capitins the now classic Capucine's handbag displays a host of house signatures, leather-wrapped LV initials, jewel-like handle mounts inspired by historic trunks, and a distinctive flap with a monogram flower motif. Timelessly elegant, this charming model can be carried by hand or worn crossbody on its detachable strap. First launched in 2013, the Capucines is named for the Parisian street where Louis Vuitton first opened shop in 1854. Since its launch, this bag has become one of the most famous Louis Vuitton bags. The quality of the bag and the attention to the detail is unmatched. This is a great designer bag, but once again I believe it is overpriced. It costs around $7,000, while most bags of the brand are around the $3,000 range. Number 1. Chanel Classic Flap No surprises here, right? The Chanel handbag that would ultimately become synonymous with the brand was not created until 1983. The Chanel Classic Double Flap was first introduced when Karl Lagerfeld became creative director and decided to reinterpret Chanel's iconic 2 55 flap bag. From his artistic vision came two new features, a leather woven chain and double C turn lock closure. Lagerfeld's classic double flap was a breakout success. Almost 40 years later, and out of all the Chanel handbags on the market, the classic double flap remains one of the most sought after pieces ever crafted. I love the Chanel flap, but there is not a single reason why this bag should cost $10,000. It is extremely overpriced, let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And make sure to check out my video about the best designer bag dupes. Thank you for spending some time with us and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, we'll provide you the best content about fashion, travel and luxury living. See you soon.